Welcome to the vault, and boy, do I got something special to show you guys. Yeah, we, I scored big time, and believe it or not, this is the most amount of money I ever dropped on coins. Uh, I'll get into that story in a little bit, and I'll even show you what we have, well, of course. Uh, but first, we definitely need a beverage, and this is so monumental to me that um, I, I'm pulling out one of my favorites of all time. Jones, uh, was it cream soda? Yeah, it tastes a lot like cotton candy. This is the third time you've seen this one, <laughs> but it's definitely one of my favorites, and this is kind of a reason to celebrate. Uh, give me one second. I, I gotta have some of this. I love this so much. Anyhow, awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyhow, um, I went to a normal bank to pick up some coins, uh, and do some banking a little bit ago last week sometime, and, uh, Megan... Meg, one of my all-time favorite tellers, told me that uh, the lobby's still open. I can get coins. And she also told me that they had some uncirculated coins. You may have heard me talk about that last week or the week before. So on Monday, I came in. I went to go see the coins. And I went to the lovely Lady Shamika. Now, I'm just going to call her She for short. <laughs> Lady She. How does that sound? I hope that sounds okay because I don't want to murder your name. Because I really hope you're watching this one. Because I told her that I will definitely do a show about this. I'll do the research on these coins. And shut up Tripwire and just get on with it already. <laughs> okay, here's what's going on. Everything is in this box right here. This box right here. Now I'm going to be moving the camera back and forth. But we are definitely going to have to be going over the main book. And we're going to jump into the internet. Uh, because there's a couple other things that I don't get. I don't quite understand. And anyhow... Why don't I just show you what I got? Check this out. Yeah, when they said they had some uncirculated dollars, this was not exactly what I was expecting. Um, here's the thing. Apparently, uh, Lady She told me that uh, someone's dad died and left his ass part of the inheritance, and the guy had no idea what he was going to do with it, so he ended up just cashing it in. And because banks can't, for some reason, they can't give you the value. They can only give you face value. I bought all of these at face value. And, of course, these are from the Mint. They are uncirculated. It says it right there on there. All the seals are fully intact. Right? So that's actually super cool. I believe that these are all from the Denver Mint, if I'm not mistaken. And here's the thing. Right off the bat. So I got, like, 11, 11 of them here. And, again, I bought these all at face value. So it's totally awesome. But no, wait, hold on a second. Eight, four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, um, I got eleven of them though. What's the eleventh one? Unopened, from the mint, John F. Kennedy's. We finally got some for the collection. <laughs> yeah, um, when these first came out, for those of you that don't know, when this first hit uh the market, these were gone, just like that. They're very, very, very hard to find. Very hard. Now, here's what we're going to do. Um, we know these are on circuit. We want to see how much they went up in value. Uh, so, give me one small moment. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> okay, I am going to be showing you three sets of numbers. Two off the internet. And one we're looking at right now, what I always consider my trusted source when it comes to finding coin values. Now, as I went through all of these, uh, they're basically all the same when it comes to uh, what the prices are. You know, it's like like we got MS63, got MS63 here, which is two dollars, but this is a D. I'm sorry, two dollars, but they're all basically the same. Uh, so MS65 is worth three dollars, and now this is a piece. Now, here's the thing: um, the research I did. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I am wrong. Put it in the comments below, please, if I am wrong. But from what I know, from what I, the research I did, MS65s are uncirculated. And that's exactly what these, I believe, are. So each one of these uh, 12 coins should be around $3 a piece. And that goes for all of them, according to this. I do have another quick question. Maybe y'all can help me out. I put this out here for a reason. And that's because I noticed uh, 2000 and D or 2007D satin finish is up to $4 a piece. I don't, I don't know what satin finish even comes close to looking like. 
I don't think this is it. But if it is it, let me know. All, all you phenomenal coin collectors out there, let, let me know what's going on. But yeah, uh, MS65 will equal $3 a piece, according to this one. And this is my favorite source, mind you. Okay. So yeah, all those that you saw, they're basically all around the same. Boom, $3 a piece. Just tripled my money. Okay. Uh, let's move over to the internet really quick. Okay, the second numbers I want to show you all. Good old-fashioned eBay. Yeah, I know. eBay can basically sell for whatever it wants to sell for. But I just want to throw this one out there. Because, uh, again, like this is kind of like the average price I saw looking through uh, eBay. Just, just because I don't, I got no trust in what they're doing. But according to the book and according to this one that I found, $3.00. 35 cents on circulator quite possible but i've also seen these on ebay for uh, as low as 250 but they're always between the two and the three dollar range so that's something i can balance it out and say okay well i got two three dollars already three dollars a piece so far it's really looking that way but i did hit a website and believe it or not it's actually a very popular website uh or a popular like uh for coin collecting so, I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. I came up with what it's called. But, yeah, these guys are definitely into the coin thing. But I want to show you something. This is throwing me big time. So, we are looking at the George Washingtons, right? So, we're going to go up to the George Washington D right here. And they go all the way up. So, let's go look at 35 $10. What is the jump? What is the jump from, like, we just saw two that were at $3. Why is this one at ten dollars and this is actually a very trusted uh coin company and you see them a lot in coin collecting whether you're reading the magazines or going on online or whatever when you're doing any research of coins uh this company is a pretty big name so i can't figure out exactly why the jump is so high did i miss something i don't know but so far, uh, we got two out of three that say it's about $3. So each one of those coins, and L Lady She, she uh, decided to keep one, uh, which is absolutely beautiful, I think. Cause I'm not buying them off. Somebody wants to keep them. But yeah, so I'm looking at $3 a piece. So we just basically tripled our money on that whole box right there. But again, if you guys got any information on this this company... And why that is at three at ten dollars is beyond me. Okay, uh, back to the John F. Kennedy. Now, as I was going through the magazine, um, I noticed like even the John F. Kennedys, uh, they were going for the same thing about three dollars a piece. But I, I I always thought that these were a lot more collectible because like like I stated earlier, when this first hit, when the mint first released them, all the coin brokers bought them. You couldn't even find them anywhere. I searched online to get a couple of them or whatever. Everybody was sold out of them, what have you. So, the last question, guys. Last question. This is a test, okay? I need to, I'd like to get some information. Because this one sold out, like, so quickly and is a very sought-after um, presidential dollar, uh, is it possible that could be more than $3? I'm not sure. And going with the magazine, that is definitely... Uh, it was saying three dollars, but something tells me it could be worth more because those are more sought after coins. So if you guys got any info on that, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyhow, let's go on to the second birthday gift that I got myself. Oh, oh, look at that! What are we looking at? Reverse proof, uh, dime. Uh, what's that? Two thousand twelve, two thousand. I love, absolutely love reverse coins. And this, they're, they're really hard to come by again. I don't, I don't know why they're so hard to find. It took me forever just to find this one. I wanted to get a quarter, but they don't. But look at how beautiful that is. I absolutely, I'm repeating myself, that's what I'm doing. I love the reverse coins. So, yeah, I definitely bought this for myself. They're awesome for display purposes. If you got your coins displayed somewhere so everybody can see them, I, I would put up the money and get, get a couple of these because they're really awesome to look at. So that is where we are at with with today with those so yeah we did very good so i just tripled my money i'm gonna say that real to bad I, I believe that i tripled my money doing that i've never dropped that much money in coins in my entire life but i there's no way i could walk away from that 
there's no way. But anyhow, let's do a heads or tails because I can't decide whether I want to do nickels or pennies this week. So, okay, we are doing nickels again. Okay, not a problem. We'll save the pennies for another day. Yes. Again, thank you all very much for supporting Straight Up Metal Detecting. I highly appreciate it. And this dude just had to tape this, didn't he? Well, I can't talk because I taped my rolls too. Anyhow, I'll see what we have here. Hopefully something really good. Yeah. Um, again, if you guys got any comments or if you got any um, ideas for any of the programs here on the channel, please leave me a note. Let me know what's going on. Keep in mind, my channel is definitely your channel. Okay, so we don't need that one. Anyhow, tomorrow we are doing a live stream. A straight up mail detecting live stream. It's going to be at 6 o'clock and that is uh, December 16th. In case you guys missed the, promotion, the promo I put out. Yeah, so I, everyone's encouraged to show up. We are going to be next to a modem. <laughs> we had an impromptu... Uh, well, it was supposed to be a one-minute test to see if I can go on uh, live. It turned out to be a 45-minute party. <laughs> I thought I'd thank you, everybody, and hopefully we'll have the same energy. I'm going to be by a modem, and Chemical X bought a really super cool camera. I'm... Uh, I'm still working on that. He says it's super easy. I'm still going to be playing with it all the way up. So, And Sunday. You think I was done with my live streams? No, no, no. Sunday. Thank you, Lair Videos. We're doing a first ever live stream. Cyber detecting. That's right. I made the account already. That was a nightmare in its own right. Because I kept on putting in the wrong... Uh, Email address. <laughs> and it told me to. It totally told me. I don't know. 2001. Nope. Still looking for 2009. It's always. 2017. So yeah. This has been a very phenomenal week for coin collecting. My math is absolutely horrible. But I know I was paid what? $112 for that or something like that. On those dollars. And I tripled that. In 1964. We found one. Yay. I'm st we're st uh, probably still kicking around the idea of a New Year's Eve thing going down. If anybody wants to do a live uh, vault New Year's Eve, we might be able to pull that off. I'm not entirely sure, though. Because I don't know the camera that well. I'm going to have to move the camera to a place where I can do a live stream. We can bring in the New Year that way and grab your favorite beverage. Hopefully I can find Jolt. I probably can't. 2002, no. Yeah, no. Coming up next, we're probably going to do some worldwide coinage. Yes, the animal ones are gone. And I believe size detecting, his bag is next. Even though I had, I had like two left over, I just threw them in size bag. So, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to those kind. Those, those, those coins. I'm really looking for, oh, 1945. Dang! Dang! This is a phenomenal week for coin collecting, ladies and gentlemen, coin hunters and huntresses. <laughs> Thrilled. Over the top. We got ourselves a war nickel. We got some silver up in here already. And we do have uh, two searches for silver. Okay, who, who was ready for that? Not I. Not I, said Tripwire. War nickel. Yes. So if you got, okay, um, because uh, maybe some new people are watching, I'll go over it really, really quickly on why you want, how to identify a war nickel. I thought that was a mad coin, no. Anyhow, um, for those of you that are new, and if Lady She is watching, she might get a kick out of this. Okay, um, if you guys get a quarter and it's from like 1975, I think it goes 70, or 1945, I forgot what the, all the dates were, but for sure, 1945. If you're wondering if it's a silver nickel or not, it's very simple. If the, the mint mark is on top right there, okay? So if you come across any nickels while you're either hunting or pocket change or whatever, if you see this mint mark on top, you have yourself a silver war nickel. So there you guys go. There's a little bit of information some new people that are watching. Anyhow, let's do some worldwide coinage. These are the last of the animal coins. And 
these are the ones that we're going to be doing. <laughs> Let's go over the ones that we pulled last week. I'll tell you what we got there. Then we'll move on to some search for silver. All right, number one. Here's what we got. Boom. This little guy. We've I think we've done this one before. Um, Somaliland, 2002, 10 shillings. It's made of brass. And uh, it didn't say anything. It just said 91 cents. So not take that for what it's worth. So that's what that one is. Can't get any bad. We'll do that later. Let's get on to the next one. We got a bigger coin here. Pull that back a tad. Here we go. Check out this guy. Ooh. It's a goat or a llama. Andorra. This is also 2002. This is a non-circulated coin. This is also a one centum, as you can see. It is uh, made out of aluminum. Very fine condition. $1.58. Uncirculated. $1.58. If you look under the word redundant, it says see redundant. So, yep, so that's that one. Let's see, what do we have over here? Look at this one. This is from Cook Island. Sorry about the glare, I apologize. Uh, 2002, very good year. No, it's 2003, my apologies. This is a one cent, and it is, has, it is made out of 100% rooster. Um, <laughs> it's aluminum in extra fine condition, 73 cents. Uncirculated, 103. So that's actually kind of an interesting little coin. I like the rooster. I like the rooster. And this is the last one here. This here is a cute little bunny bunny. Now we could this this is a a five cent hoss and pfeffer. Yeah, the jokes get worse, guys. The jokes get worse. Zimbabwe, 1997, five cents. And this is made out of copper nickel. And in very fine condition, it is 57 cents. In uncirculated, $1.21. So there you have it. There is worldwide coinage today. So what else we got going down? You know what we have going down? Boom. Well, speaking of going down, we're going to do uh, the first search for silver, even though we already found some. Uh, promising roll. Promising roll of quarters. But I also have a mystery bag. A mystery bag. It is definitely my birthday of the week. So what that means is that I got to open up a present. Keep in mind that Bob Ross coins are still in full effect. There we go. It's about time he came out. I'm going to see what we have here. Let's um pull this up. 2019, we're still looking for some uh, W's there. Looking for our first silver coin ever. First silver quarter. Sorry. Have you guys been finding anything? Is there anything you want to show on the vault? I would be more than happy to show it. It is winter time, so now is the perfect time. If uh, you're like me and you want to be a hermit, go get some coins. Hang out. Do some coin collecting. Do some coin roll hunting. You never know what you can find. You can find silver. I still love that design. I love that. It's one of my favorites. And this is definitely not one of my favorites. Nope, 1990. The hunting ain't doing too well. Well, we did find that one. Homestead. Yeah, I hold homesteads. I just keep them around because there's a possible error coin. I think, God, I've done so many vaults, I can't keep them. I can't keep them in my head anymore. I can't remember if I did a special on that. <laughs> We're going to try this just one more time. Next week, we will get into the Buffalo Nichols. <laughs> How many months have I been saying that now, to be honest? Really, I've been saying that like forever. 2019. No, that's 2015. My apologies. Nope. Idaho. Nope. Nope. There's not a lot of coins in the mystery bag, but I'll show you, I'll show you what the mystery bag is. Once again, Meg hooked me up with that. Thank you so much, Meg. Like I said, uh, I, I said this once. I say this once in a while, and this is the best time to say it. Have a good rapport with your bank tellers. So, so it's a, it does come in handy. Thank you again, Lady She. I hope some of this information is helping you out, and I hope you uh, know that you just tripled your money on that. You didn't even have to go to the casino or buy a lottery ticket. Imagine, imagine that. 75, nope. Down to the last five here, 82. Not the greatest nickel roll, not the greatest. Ooh, Bicentennial. 
Bicentennial. Why do I hold them? They're not worth anything, but I still hold them anyhow. Cool design, but we don't need it. Oh, so everybody repeat after me. Hate that coin. <laughs> okay, let's pull this back real quick. Back trip wire. Anyhow, got a little mystery bag here. There's coins in the bag. I figure out. This is a search for silver, by the way, because I know they're half dollars, except for one. Except for one. Where's the one? There's the one. Boom, we got a dollar there. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not know this. It's a Bicentennial Eisenhower. That is awesome. That is super cool. I did not know it was a buy. Like I said, I didn't look at these. I'm, uh, I always tell Meg if she's got loose coins like this, to just put them in a bag. I'm not allowed to see them until right now. Another Bicentennial. You know I thought the Bicentennials. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, Craig. As, as you kids would say, what's that, 96? No, we don't, like I said, we don't have a lot. We're, we're rounding out right now. 72. No. 69! Wow! Wow! What a show are we kicking off today? Day. Happy birthday to me once again. That, oh, 1969. Are you kidding me? You got another 40% silver. You know what? I'm just going to retire. That's it. I'm done. I'm going home. We're finished. We're finished. 72. Everything we're touching today is awesome. Bicentennial, of course. All right. I thank you all again very, very much for watching the Vault Coin Collecting over here. I know I asked a lot of questions, but I will take any information anybody gives me. Am I right about the $3 uncirculated? Is, is that possible? Am I overshooting it? What is going on with that $10 one? That, that, I don't understand that one at all. And that's a reputable company. And I'm not even sure if that's the right word. <laughs> and also, last but not least, the JFKs. Because these are so hard to find, I wonder if these are more than $3 a piece or what it could be. But anyhow, always keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. We'll see you again next week, and uh, maybe we'll even do the live vault. That's up to you guys. We'll do a live vault on New Year's Eve if you guys got nothing to do. You all take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. What a great show. What a great show.